What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, and this is your home for the still champs 2020 World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers. Best record in baseball. The train keeps on rolling. And today I want to talk to you about the Dodgers number four starter, Julio Urias. If you watch the game on Tuesday, 1-10 game against Seattle, one nothing victory. Urias was absolutely unbelievable against the Mariners. Seven innings, one hit, one walk, a career-high 11 strikeouts, no earned runs, all on just 88 pitches, lowering his season ERA, ERA to 2.81. And even that doesn't seem to do it justice. The one hit was a 54-mile-an-hour slow-rolling infield single with an expected batting average of 060. Again, career high 11 strikeouts. So I want to break down a little bit what we saw from Urias yesterday and what this means moving forward. Let's remember, Urias did start against the Mariners last summer, didn't make it out of the second inning in that one. This game, obviously much different. So let's dive into what made yesterday so special. He threw fastball or curve 91% of the time, which is becoming normal for him. He throws, he sprinkles in a changeup, but the slider has basically disappeared. He had 49 fastballs, 31 curveballs. In total, he threw 77% of his pitches for strikes. Again, that's what we've seen from him. He is pounding the strike zone. But what's amazing is not just that he's throwing strikes, but that even when he's in and around the zone constantly, guys can't do anything with it. Okay, so think about this. He threw 49 fastballs on Tuesday. Nine were called strikes. 30 of them generated swings. Of those swings... Seven were whiffs and 18 were foul off. So of 49 fastballs Urias threw yesterday, just five of them made it into play. Curveball, more of the same, 31 curveballs, six of them called for strikes, 17 swings. Of the 17 swings, nine were whiffs. So you had a better chance of swinging and missing at his curveball than you did of making contact. And then another four foul balls. So of 31 curveballs, he had just four of them end up in play. So in total, if you swung at a pitch that Urias threw, there was a 34% chance you came up empty and a 44% chance you fouled the ball off. Think about that. If you swung at a pitch that Urias threw, you had just a 22% chance of putting the ball in play. And when you did, it was weak contact, just two hard hit balls all afternoon against Urias. So, so far this season, this is what we've seen. Urias has been fantastic. Again, a guy that used to be a former prospect, a top prospect in the Dodger system, one of the top five to 10 in all of baseball. He's just 24 years old. He's been fantastic. His strikeout percentage this year is up to 26%, up from about 20% last year. His walk rate went from 8% last year to 4% this year. And again, I tweeted this and it's not hyperbole. He is genuinely the number four starter on the Dodgers, which is insane. We know Kershaw has been unhittable since opening day. Bauer has been dominant. We know what Walker Buehler is capable of. And so I wondered at the beginning of the season, is this the best rotation in baseball? I think that's pretty clear. But I also was asking, is this one of the best rotations that we've seen in baseball in recent memory? And I think we're seeing that play out. I think it's becoming that. Urias is 24. He looks like he's making the jump. Dustin May is 23. His strikeout percentage, which had worried us in the past, was at 19.6% last year. It's up to 34%. This year. So the Dodgers' depth was always going to be arguably their greatest asset. I think we are seeing that play out right now with injuries, but uh, in the lineup, but more specifically with the pitching staff. Most teams might have a one or a two that can sort of float in the same circles as, as an elite guy, but guys don't have number four and number five starters that look like Julio Rios and Dustin May. So we'll see how this plays out. Obviously, the sample size is small, but the, the hype was there with Urias. We've always believed this was in him. Now we're seeing it play out, and it's been fantastic. So let us know what you think below. Is Urias the best number four starter in all of baseball? Is this the real deal? Is what we saw on Tuesday what we're going to get some version of going forward? Let us know below. Uh, a couple shout-outs. I want to give a shout-out to Foco. Uh, they make some bobbleheads and that kind of thing. They've got a Cody Bellinger bobblehead sitting behind me that's awesome. So thank you to them for sending that out. As always, check out DodgerBlue.com, DodgerBlue1958 for the latest. Uh, On Thursday morning, we're going to be posting sort of our weekend preview against the Padres with some betting lines and angles and that kind of thing. So make sure you be on the lookout for that. Subscribe here, ring the notification bell. And as always, we'll say goodbye with the words of Vince Scully. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.